to another Train Sim World um, video. Uh, we're actually on the original Train Sim World today, obviously Train Sim World 2020. Uh, obviously, if you did watch yesterday's stream, obviously this is if you're watching on uh, on release day, uh, we did actually check out the Amfleet cab car. Uh, but today, we're going to be checking out the SW1000R. So we're starting straight from the beginning. I've really never seen gameplay on this before. So let's get straight into it. SW1000R introduction. Yeah, this is obviously on the old TSW. Welcome, Welcome to this SW1000R oh, yeah, yeah. diesel electric switching locomotive in Amtrak livery. This brief introduction will go through the start and stop procedures. Looks very similar to the MP15 DC, so that's on... Plan um, board to get started. That's on, obviously, on Plinster Corridor. I suppose it's probably based off that one, isn't it? Uh, sit in the engineer's seat. A lot seat. of time will be spent in... The primary uh, engine systems need power before yeah. the engine can be started. Oh, it's very, it's very, yeah, very similar to the MP15 DC. Uh, obviously, if you if you play Peninsula Corridor, you know, um, well, that's the train on there. Uh, a generator field. I'm not used to uh, zooming in, so we can't on this one. Set the emergency brake. PCS needs to be reset before the locomotive can be started. There you go. Set the automatic brake to release. There we go. Hold the engine start. The uh, engine um, is now ready to be started. Oh, it's here. Uh, hold that until it's running. Okay. Engine start. Until we hear loud noises. Oh, there you go. That sounds like the engine coming on. That's quite loud. Uh, let's get back to here. Handbrake is... I don't know if we can use that. So the... Yeah. Cab and gauge lights let you see inside the cab better. Exterior lights are important in letting others around know that a locomotive is operating. Right, they're all on. Interior lights on. There we go, that one. What's this one here? Uh, gauge lights. Uh, headlight front. Headlight rear. No. Are we... Headlight rear. There's that. Wait for the main reservoir. The main reservoir will take a moment to charge. This can be observed by watching the brake dials. Watching the brake dials. You can see them there. I'm interested to see how the horn is on this. Let's have a look. <laughs> we, can't, we can't do it yet. It doesn't even have a horn. Oh, that'd be the horn there, wouldn't it? We'll have to wait. We must try the horn. So what have we got? we got uh, a rack of coaches on the back here. It's brilliant. Look at it. Awesome. Let's, uh, let's try and get a screenshot. <clears throat> it's very high up, so we've got to sort of go back a little. There you go. Now we can get it from here. I want to get a good screenshot here. You might even see this as the thumbnail. I don't know, there's not really much angles we can get on this one. To ensure that the locomotive does not move while preparations continue, the independent brake should, should be applied. applied. Put that to full application. There it is. The independent brake is holding the oh, train, so the rest of the brakes can be released. We'll get that one uh, to release. No, oh, there you go. That was the right way. There you go, that is off. Release. The reverser handle must be inserted before it can be used. Right, we'll insert that in. Set that to forward. The reverser is used to set the direction. Uh, oh. Now release the independent brake. Now release that. There we go. Increase Here we go. The throttle right. to start moving. Do not apply too much power too quickly. Too much power. Go on, fall back. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, we're going forward. For some reason, I thought we were going that way. I don't know why. With the train now moving, it's possible to apply more power, awesome. and focus can be diverted towards it. Coasting coast. is a method. There's a short distance between here and the next stop, so be sure to manage the train and prevent overspeeding. I'll try my best. I'll try my best not to overspeed. Where are we going to exactly? I suppose we're probably just running up to uh, here, up to here. Where are we going? Oh, up to there. This is the entrance of the of the uh, yard. Can we get these windows open? Can we do the horn? <gasps> there we go. Interesting horn. Cool. It's got sort of a um. It sort of has like a different sort of sound to it, almost as if like. 
you're not doing it as much, it's like slightly fainter. Let's try and get that one again. There you go, that one there, look. You go up to there. I know. There you go, it does it like proper more. Cool. I like that. Uh, just trying to get the Oh no. <laughs> oh, we've done it again. We did this on the first look stream of the uh, cab car. Yeah, it seems to be in these older tutorials, if you put the bell on, you can't actually then get it off. So we're stuck with the bell on. It's fine. It's, we're going through the yard, so I suppose it's sort of acceptable. Look at that. I'm liking this. So, um, yeah, it's not, something, not bad. And obviously, yeah, this DLC does include this and also the um, the cab car. So you're basically getting two in one, which is uh, pretty cool. So I'll try and get a sort of a shot of this. Try and get it at a fairly low speed. Right, are we almost there? I don't know if we're going... I suppose we're probably not going to get the whole train past that marker, are we? So it said five minutes, this tutorial, but it does seem to have been a little bit more. Yeah, it's only going to be about 10-15 minutes this video, simply just my first look at the SW1000. And maybe say for a stream at some point we might actually... Why are we coming to a stop? Uh, why are we coming to a stop? Uh-oh, we've, have we screwed it up on the tutorial? I'm not getting, I'm not getting amped, so what, what have I done? Uh, brakes release, yeah, they're released. Uh, we might have turned off, so I must have pressed the button. <laughs> We're not getting amps. Uh, uh, let's put that back to... Oh, I can't even put it back to neutral. Oh no. I don't know why we're coming to a stop. I'm quite confused at the moment. Horn, help us. Um, we can't get any of these buttons. Well, that's gone well. Don't know what we did, but we've upset the train. And the train's not happy with us. Well, we must have done something. We've got one of these brakes on. Maybe we were supposed to come to a stop. Maybe we went past the mark or something so it automatically comes to a stop. I don't really know. Um, yeah, you come to a stop. I'm going to apply more power. Oh, actually. No, 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 no. Don't go back. Don't go back. I would apply more power if it let me apply more power. Right, let's see. Is it going to do it now? Why oh, are we not getting power? Someone put in the chat while well, we're not getting power. I don't know if we clicked a button by accident or... I can't hear the engine on. Oh, can we use a keyboard shortcut for that? We can't. We can't do anything then. We are stuck. Right, I'll see you all in a second. Recent scenario, um, which basically we're going into New York Penn. Uh, which is going to be cool. Information over the radio reports that a locomotive, uh, uh, I can see that. Anyway, let's go up there. So basically an ACS 64 seems to have basically got stuck at New York Penn. So we're going to go and save it. Or at least we'll go some other way. Right, we have to completely set this up. Uh, set that to emergency. Right, what I'll do is I'll skip it until we actually do get going. Because obviously we've already seen this before in the tutorial. So yeah, I'll see you guys all again in a second when we're actually we moving. are now moving at somewhat a relatively good speed about 10 miles an hour we're almost coming out of the yard and then we can get this thing up to 60 which i wonder what the top speed in this thing is i mean on the uh, mp15 dc which literally looks almost exactly the same i think it goes up to around 79 it's yeah a pretty crazy little switcher also this thing does look pretty beefy here at the front so hopefully we'll be able to get up to a, uh, a fairly decent speed Let's quickly go to the front boom camera. Let's try and get another shot on our train. So yeah, this is the scenario. Obviously, uh, New York nuisance, I believe. Let's uh, come around there. Oh, I like that. There you go. Look at that. Let's get the HUD off quick. And we'll take a screenshot of that. Lovely. That's that. Right. And can we get the speed up? That was <laughs> still a few hundred yards. I want the speed, I want to get more speed. 
Uh, we've got to wait until out the yard, which is just there. There's another train there, wasn't there, though? Awesome. No, no, don't stop. No, no, no. No, no, go, 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 go. Whoa, look at the acceleration on that. Let's hit the bell off. And if you are watching... Hang on, go off. There. If you are watching this far, put, I don't know, the truck into the comment section. Tip the fence if you are watching this far. Cool. Let's get a tad more. Lovely. A little bit more. Almost we can go up to 60. That is going to be very much welcomed. That's almost there. It's a nice little shunt though. I'm enjoying this. And obviously this pack, it doesn't just include the shunter as I've already said. It includes the Amphley cab car as well, which we might even see at New York Penn. Um, so it basically there's two trains in one, or... Okay, we'll say one train and a half in one. The SW1000 being the whole one, and then the cab car sort of being half. But still, it's brilliant. Now, see, so yeah, this is at the moment on PlayStation, obviously, if you're watching on release. This is, I think, four quid. So, I mean, if you do have TSW 2020 and you don't have this DLC, go ahead and get it. It's only just over four quid. I think it's 4 .59. It probably is on a sale as well, obviously, on Xbox and PC at some point. Yeah, it's a lovely little DLC and it does add a little bit more to the North East Corridor, which already, actually, being completely honest, is a already a fairly busy route on the game. And also, this is the old TSW, and it's, uh, yeah, I think it's a train every sort of 20 minutes on here. And obviously, yeah, this adds more. In fact, when we were doing the service on stream, we kept sort of stopping at red lights, waiting for the train ahead to sort of get forward a little bit more. So, yeah, it does um, make the route a bit busier. Here's a 60 coming up. Yes, I'm looking forward to this. We can see the capabilities of this train, even though we're going downhill, so it's going to get speed anyway. But here we go. Come on, little Shanta. Look at all that pollution. Look at that. Here we go. Into the tunnel. Which realistically, do the diesel trains go into the tunnel? Because I know Long Island obviously run through here. Do they have diesel trains just come through here? Here we go, look at this. Oh, we're probably getting up here. Let's get the cab light on. Look at this. Oh, this looks brilliant. There we go. Lovely. Got 2.2 miles to the uh, uh, 15 limit. Let's bring it down a tad. We haven't really tried out the brakes in this yet, have we? Oh yeah, one thing, if you're on here, I was thinking, I, I, would, I did take a couple of minutes to sort of find where they are. The wipers, you may think, where are the wipers? Sometimes they're up there on the US trains. Now on this one, it's it's behind here. There it is, that's zero. Don't need that on now. Brilliant. Now it's had more, 1.6. So we'll probably only just fit into this tunnel as well. Can okay, we go for a little, uh, <laughs> little uh, stand at the back? But as we go through the tunnel, if you're even lucky, jump to the side there. Brilliant. Obviously, don't do that realistically because bad things will happen. Let's get that shot. Sit back down. Probably speeding, aren't we? Yeah, just a tad. New York Pen Track 14. One mile now until that 15. Actually, we are going up a fairly steep uphill gradient now, so we want to get a bit of whack on there. Well, that was weird because the train's so long, sort of going forward. I, I just saw the signal go to red before we actually passed it. Track 14, where's that ACS? There it is, there. Go. Cool. Well, we're slowly getting there. Once we get there, that will then be it. We have a little bit of a fast run in the uh, in the SW1000R. We now know how to operate it. We've basically covered it, really. Maybe at some point we'll do this on stream as well. When we do a North East Corridor stream. We'll do this on the uh, cab car. 
Well, see, so yeah, if you have just joined us, so if you are watching on the premiere, remember, this is the old TSW 2020, not TSW 2. I thought we'd uh, clear that up, nip that in the bag. Yeah, we'll couple up to the ACS and that will then be it. Yeah, as we'll just see the coupling process. More down. Lovely. Two hundred yards, let's try not to crash into the train now. The, the signals, look at the signal here. It will go red before we passed it. Well, the front of the train passed it, but not the cap. That'd be scary in real life seeing that. You'd think you've got a spad. Let's put it down to pad more. So I believe there is a red light for the ACS, so we've got to be careful. Right, here we are. Let's stop it there. See the front of the train does stick out. Is that alright? No, that's not alright, but I'll move it forward. I can easily do that. Tad forward. Brake, 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 brake. There we go. But we have to request permission, I would imagine. Yeah, we have to uh, request that. Contact signaler, proceed at restricted speed. Brake off. Let's try not to smash any headlights or glass on the ACS. Right, here we go. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Because at some point we will actually do the full scenario on here. That's only a little first look at this. And we a tiny bit forward, so they always stop just before, don't they? There we are. We, we did it. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but yeah, that is going to be everyone for my first look at the SW1000R. Uh, brilliant, brilliant little switch obviously you can get for the northeast corridor. We might as well uncouple that as well, go on then. There we go. Yeah, what did everyone think? Obviously do pop all your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, obviously yeah, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, looks like that has an issue with the Pantograph, or the like back to sunny side and tie it down at the maintenance facility. I'll save this and we can continue it next time. But yeah, do tell me what you think in the comments section. That is going to be it from me. Thanks for coming in. Obviously, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server and to the PayPal if you do want to help support the channel. Uh, and also to the merch store, so you see all of the merch on screen now. But that is going to be it. Thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully we'll see you in the next one. See you all, and take care. Bye, guys.